That's no moon. We're talking about The Conjuring 2 today. I'm going to pick out who has to explain the plot again. As always, we have a randomizer. So let's get started. Da -da -da. Tom. Great. Ooh. All right. Uh, well, <clears throat> it's about two paranormal investigators, two from the first movie, The First Conjuring, who end up getting called to uh, investigate the Enfield hauntings. And um, they're a bit reluctant at first because they're thinking of giving it a break for a while, but they go in the end and um, they get there and uh, discover paranormal goings on. Ooh. And I um, don't want to say too much because I don't want to spoil it. Yeah, I mean, that's that's literally all I can is. say. It's really hard to talk about this film without getting into spoilers because a lot happens in this film. It's a, it's a very long film and a lot happens throughout the runtime. Yeah. But. Um, yeah, I mean, what I got from it, it's very hard to make a sequel to a horror film and... Or a good um, horror film in general. Or a good horror film these days. A lot of horror films that come out are sort of... They're very mediocre. We've seen a lot of horror films this year. The Forest? The Forest. The Forest, the forest was actually uh, awful. Me and Tom saw Other Side of the song. Door, which was absolutely terrible. Yeah. I mean, there hasn't been a good horror film for a long time. And this one came along and I really enjoyed it. Um, and I was surprised because The First Conjuring, I didn't like that much. It was okay. I, I appreciated it for what it was, but to me it just felt like a cliche horror film. And with this one, um, I actually enjoyed it a lot more and I really like the plot of this one a lot more as well. It was supposedly based on a true story, which uh, a lot of stuff that happens in this film, <laughs> yeah, it, it really wasn't. Like, it really wasn't a true story. You could tell that, but I like how they went about it. So, uh, what yeah. do you think, Dale? Uh, I'm not a fan of horror <laughs> movies. I'm very we easily know. scared, so I don't <laughs> yeah. watch a lot of them, and I find it difficult to like rate them. But I think it was very well made. It was competent. Like, yeah. I haven't seen the mm. first one, but I mean, for a horror film, the cinematography alone was very yeah. good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was genuinely like some genuine scares. I mean, yeah. I'd probably be yeah. scared by the cliche jump scares. Yeah, but there were some really creepy moments, uh, and I really liked how they made use of the house because it was a very like yeah. enclosed space. Built tension, very good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what I'll say about it is that the first half of this film is very scary. I mean, stuff happens, like you set up, you meet this family, and it's like, okay, there's this little girl, and it's like, okay, at first you're like, yeah, it's just a creepy little girl, but stuff happens in the house, and like, it just keeps going for the first half of the film. Stuff just keeps happening. Um, and it doesn't stop for a long time and you're just on the edge of your seat the whole time thinking, you know, what's going to happen? And you cannot guess what's going to happen either. Yeah, I, mean, I was so scared by watching it. I mean, I, I screamed out loud <laughs> I mean, at least three or four times. I think Tom scared me more than the film did. Yeah. Because I'd, I wish I'd, I'd sort of be sitting there, I'd, yeah. be, I'd be watching the film, but like, okay, this is, this is pretty creepy. And then Tom would scream and I would just jump out of my seat. <laughs> I couldn't help it. It was, it was pretty... <laughs> Yeah, pretty scary. It, I wish you could record it. Yeah, but that's mean, why I love horror films. I'm a massive fan of horror films. Yeah, because I enjoy getting scared by them. But I mean, you know, I always sort of regret it afterwards when you go home and yeah. you have to sleep that night. It's a bit <laughs> tense. But it's better to see like probably like ten o'clock in the yeah, morning. Yeah, it's better to, to wake see yourself early. up. Yeah. Yeah. I think With we saw it late afternoon, too. about three o'clock. Yeah, and I think that was a good time to see it because by the time we'd got home, like, I mean, I work in a pub and. Uh, I went. I sort of had to go out the back in in the cellar, and I, I was scared, like like genuinely, <laughs> like like I've I've been yeah. pretty freaked out since I saw it. Like going home, like yeah, I've yeah. sort of I've sort of seen my bathroom door open, and that's a good sign. Yeah, that's that a good sign. That means that the, yeah. the it's had an effect. That means it's a good horror. It has, film, and this film scared you. Yeah, this film genuinely, I I enjoyed it a hell of a lot. Yeah. I do have to say, I think depending on who you are, the ending kind of gets a bit convoluted, like. Yeah, it's not just yeah, a simple case. Uh, yeah. That might be a spoiler, I guess. But depending on how you feel about that, it could kind of lessen the experience. Like, yeah, it did for me. I think it kind of made it more convoluted. I would like to say that, like, the ending of say like Ten Cloverfield Lane ruined the movie a lot yeah, more for me than definitely. the ending for this film ruined yeah. this movie. So I don't think it's too bad, but yeah, yeah, it might. Yeah. It gets it, a bit too yeah. just out there to the point where you're like this was not a true story this yeah. right here it would have been better if, if, you, left, if you left believing it, that it was a true story because it had like oh this is true events and everything and it had the the bits during the credits where they had the voice clips and stuff that they'd taken but I think with the ending that they gave it sort of left you feeling okay well it's not 
that's never going to happen. Yeah, mm. I mean, like, they, they left it open. I think the, the main thing they did was try to leave it open for a sequel. Yeah. And I think yeah. we will see a sequel. I'd like to see a good trilogy of horror films because mm. we haven't had that since probably yeah. Evil Dead. Um, obviously very different, but I don't think we've had a good series, a good horror trilogy for a long time. Yeah. So I sort of, I'm glad they ended it that way. I think Sinister's pretty good. No. I, I haven't there seen three of those. Of them. There's only two. The, <coughs> I'd, I'd say the second one's more messed up than the first, but that's... I heard the second one's not very good, but yeah, I haven't seen Yeah, it's not as good them. as the first one. I think, sort of, towards the end, yeah, it does get a bit much. But I think, if I have any negative things to say about it, it's that sometimes it's really hard to take the film seriously. Some of the um, stuff with the ghost was weird. If you've seen the trailer, like... There's one bit where he's like, I'm Bill Wilkins and I'm 72 I'm years Bill old. Wilkins. And it sounds really... Yeah. Like, he's a lot more scary when you yeah. can't hear him talk. I mean, yeah, the ghost in this yeah. film is like... He's like a, a cross between Michael Caine and Emperor Palpatine from Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and it was very weird to see him in the film. I mean, he's not he's not in the film much. But, uh, I mean, it is hard to take seriously when, when the little girl, uh, Janet's being interviewed... And his voice is like coming through her. Yeah, it is, and it's, it's, it's old really Cockney hard. British yeah. old man's voice like, coming through this little girl. At it, that it, point, it looks not, pretty weird. It's not scary. It's just it's just pretty funny to watch. And I I know I'm, I don't I'm, know. I quite I think I did quite like it. I thought it was I mean, a weird twist. It, it like, was creepy. Have, this old but guy. I think yeah. it was it was hard to take it seriously with him. I think I think and the, the little girl together. I think it seemed more creepy when they. Uh, when they played the little voice clip to the investigators. Yeah, And then yeah, they were like, yeah. oh, he sounds confused, who is he? And then he says, oh, it's coming from an 11-year-old girl. I think that, that was a good, yeah. That, that made it good. like, because yeah. you could see that they were like, whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. What was yeah, the I ghost or thing in the first one? It was, uh, oh, what was it? I've seen mean, the first one. I can't remember. I mean, I know it sort of takes place. I think it's based on the true story as well. I think the investigators were real people, but they never invented the uh, the Enfield case. Yeah, they, um, yeah, they were they real people. They never investigated that. So, I think it was based more around them, and a sort of it was a more close to home sort of. Um, I can't remember like, the. I don't possession. think. I don't think it was as a famous case as the Enfield one. No, no, I think it was the just, first one. It was because it was in a house, wasn't it? And there yeah, was a demon. And... It was more personal. The first one was more personal, and it yeah. was more of a, more of a personal possession. Yeah. With this one, it was like it was a bigger story. There wasn't too much story to tell. I mean, Enfield, it's obviously been told to be a hoax now. So there wasn't that much to tell, but I think they did really well with it. And with the first one, I'm not a massive fan, but I think they did well with that as well, telling mm. the story. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I think it's weird that they made an Enfield film based like with the Conjuring name, though. Yeah, is what I'll say. I mean, I think I don't know. I think what they're trying to do is put a new spin on it. Yeah, a fa I mean, famous cases rather than creating new ones. They're taking famous cases. Yeah. And trying to yeah, and it's, it's an and interesting way to do it, I guess. And I think the third one, I mean, it will be interesting to see what they cook up next. Mm. So I'm I'm interested to see a third one. Yeah, uh, I know they're doing a spin-off based around the nun. Yeah, which uh, yeah, um, I'm hoping it's not Annabelle. I mean, because that was terrible. Annabelle was terrible, but Annabelle the Annabelle Dalt was better in the first Conjuring film than she was in her own solo she movie. She was very creepy in the first one, and they made a solo movie. <laughs> it's like a bloody so cinematic I, I, universe. I don't want them to take the nun from this film and make yeah. her into something that's just that's just not scary and make it into a boring film that they did with Annabelle. I want the nun like, to actually make a good movie, and I don't think she needs one, really. No, I don't. Because in this film... Horror movie spin-offs are a weird territory. Yeah, in this film, they very much told her story... And I won't spoil it, but it very much ties into the film. Yeah, it's not I don't, just think, a side I don't plot. think they need to have a solo movie based on the the demon in this film because, like you said, they explained it all. There's yeah. not much else to tell. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I can't. I don't understand the world. I mean, it, I'm guessing it would probably be set before the events of the second country. Like film. Annabelle, yeah, like prequel, Annabelle. yeah. And I think if they do a third film, whatever the plot of that. Will they'll be, probably make a they'll make a for that, which I think that's mainly just a money thing. Yeah, like, I don't think they're actually making those to please fans. I think it's just we want more money. Yeah, but uh, overall, anyway, I think we should wrap this one up. Um, yeah. So, final thoughts? I think it was a good movie. Like, I actually kind of want to watch the first one now. Yeah, uh, I mean, I think this one's I don't a lot know if better it's on in my opinion. Netflix but, or something, but I, I, I might no, be sure. But, uh, it might have been at one point. Yeah. It's, it's worth checking out. I'd say this one, in my opinion, is a lot better. Yeah, I'd um, say this. the second is definitely better than the first. I love them both. I love all horror, horror films. Yeah, so. I mean, it's it's very hard to... Uh... <laughs> Something just fell over over there. Bloody ghost. Yeah. <laughs> I don't well, even know what that Bill was. Bill Wilkins is in this room. <laughs> nah, but um, overall, yeah, good film. I, I really enjoyed yeah. it. 
So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Check uh, it out. Yeah. It's a, yeah, definitely That's check it out. Very good. Yeah. It's a space station.